Hello guys, Colonel Ninny here. Lesson 13 brings us to the culmination of your flight training to date. Here we're going to look at the basics of dogfighting. And I say the basics because there is so much more to learn. And by far the best way to learn is to join a squadron and fly on the multiplayer servers. We'll cover that in one of the later videos. But on the quick missions map, if we go to the twin aircraft icon, it will pull up our airplane and a choice of enemy aircraft. So we choose the aircraft and we choose the skill of the AI pilot. At the bottom, we can choose the number of waves of the aircraft and also its starting altitude and direction. We'll start with this basic head-on attack and look at all the mistakes that can be made. As he approaches, I open fire at long range to try and scare him off. But AI pilots have no emotions. He doesn't try any evasive maneuvers, he just keeps coming. And of course, now I'm in range, one of my machine guns jams. He opens fire, his bullets find the mark on my engine, and we collide with each other. Neither pilot took evasive action, and he's lucky to have survived. So, respawning, restarting the mission, let's see if we can improve that. My shooting is a bit better this time, so I decide to take some evasive action myself but his bullets kill my pilot. He makes a mistake. Let's try this for the third time. But we don't want the same outcome. I use a side slip and try and hold the nose on target with the rudder. This seems to work better until he hits me and I'm wounded. Well, it's a better outcome than the previous two. So head to head is really suicidal. So I'm going to take a few shots at him and then break it off. Okay, so I'm still alive, but I lost sight of my enemy. He should be down to my left. Now in terms of competition, I have a much faster and more nimble aircraft than he does. I can outturn him, outclimb him, outdive him. But he has one thing that I don't have. That is a very angry man with a bad attitude sitting in the back seat with a machine gun pointing at me. So attacking from above and behind is a very dangerous place to be. If I can kill the gunner before he kills me, then I will be able to shoot the airplane down at my leisure. So the only safe place for me to attack from is underneath. Trouble is, your opponent knows that and he's not going to give me the opportunity. It's also really challenging to keep sight of your opponent while you're doing all this twisting and turning. And as we've already seen, if this pilot can get me in his sights, I could be dead. In this aerial ballet, I'm trying to get behind and underneath him. And while I'm flying the aircraft and shooting at the same time, all his gunner has to do is aim and fire his machine gun. And with his rotating swivel and ratchet system, he was able to cover a considerable amount of the sky. 180 degrees horizontally and 240 degrees above and below the aircraft. As with attacking the ground targets, there's no rush to hit this target only want to hit it when the conditions are right. And those conditions are when you can approach it from below and have the advantage. Every time you can see that gunner open fire, you're in danger of being killed because you have put yourself in the wrong position. If you're unable to press the advantage, then there's no shame in calling it off and finding another target. Your real life objective would be to stay alive, and secondary to that would be if you could shoot down the enemy in the meantime, terrific. Live again to fight another day is a much better tactic. And once again I've lost sight of my enemy. 
Whatever maneuver I make to try and get on my opponent's tail, I always aim to keep climbing when possible. This is called the energy advantage, where I can convert my altitude to speed while he's trying to claw his way up to me. I lost sight of him once again, but now that I've found him, I'm going to use my speed and climb back up again. I can't tell if the gunner is still alive. There's only one way to find out. So I'm desperately trying to get underneath him. His gunner is most definitely alive. Took the chance, and I've got some critical hits on his engine, I believe. And now, if I can stay underneath him, I can finish him off. But that is much easier said than done. Okay, this is what I want the approach to look like. No rush. I've got him now. Some very good hits, and I'm going to stay underneath him. resounding crash, I get my first victory. But you'll find the greatest satisfaction and exhilaration is flying up against a human opponent. And you are not yet ready for that. But in this clip I want to show you how effective the rear gunner can be. My aircraft is badly damaged, but I decide to press on anyway. I have very little yaw control, which means I can't shoot and aim straight. The sensible thing to do would be for me to try to break it off and run for home. And especially now that he can outclimb me, I am at a distinct disadvantage even though I have the better aircraft. Again, I'm trying to get under his tail, away from his gunner. If you've enjoyed this video and get some value out of it, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe and like and all those usual things. But if you want to see more of these videos, specifically with the IL-2 uh, Battle of Stalingrad, I've got about 150 training videos for you to look at. So thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.